When I was in college, I volunteered to be um, an office intern on a small movie called uh, Neon Bible here in Georgia. And I really liked it. I enjoyed it. Um, I didn't know anything. I was overdressed the first day I showed up with heels and uh, the professional skirt and the little blazer. And um, But the very first person I met was a production coordinator at the time. Uh, her name was Teresa Yarborough. And I said, she said, are you lost? And I said, I'm not lost. I'm just a PA. She goes, oh, no, sweetheart, you're not just a PA. And so I've kept that with me for a long time. But um, that first walking into the office, people running all over the place, um, phones ringing everywhere. You don't know what's going on. You don't know what any of the paperwork is. Um, you don't understand most of the language, most of the technical jargon people are using. Um, so I went from that to learning a little bit more, carrying a, carrying a walkie talkie, being a production assistant on set where I would be told uh, when we were going to roll and when we were going to cut. And I would yell, rolling and cut. And everything in the middle of that was whatever anybody told me to do. Um, sometimes I would be on distant lockup. And what that means is you could be on a country hunting road that maybe nobody has driven down in a year. But just because there is a chance somebody might drive down that road that day, they're going to put a warm body out there just in case. And I've been that warm body for three days on end just to make sure nobody came down that road. So I did that for a while. And then um, my mentor, Katie Trobes, um, brought me into the production office on a movie called Remember the Titans. And um, she needed somebody to fill in a, in a position that they had. Um, because uh, I only worked on set. So I came in and I filled in for this position. And it turned out that they really, really liked me and they wanted me to stay. And I told them, I don't even know how to type. And they were like, no, you'll be great. So I did. I actually found myself really intrigued with the production office because that's where all the contracts are. That's where all the money happens. That's where all the schedules are made. That's where all the behind the scenes nuts and bolts of how you make a motion picture are happening and those those activities the people on set may never know how the goods how the resources get to them but they get to them because there's a production office that's making those things happen um and so i did that for a number of years i became a production coordinator and um through that route i was given the opportunity to work as a production manager on some local films here and from there, I got the fantastic opportunity to produce a couple of movies. I work as a producer, as a production supervisor, as a production manager. All of those titles have a lot to do with the, the title of production. Um, and they just vary slightly, but for the most part, it's the logistics team trying to get all of those items, the money, the talent, the personnel, the scheduling together. And there's varying um, roles within that umbrella, but that's my career. And my career goal is to become a producer in my own right, where all of the projects I work on are my own or my own teams. And, um, and that's where we want to go.